we're hoping to re-landscape a lot of things. When Shanoa Landry looks around this Northeast Portland church, um, she sees only good. I see the future, I see healing, and I'm a member of the Puyallup tribe, which is from Tacoma, Washington. She's also a community health worker at the Future Generations Collaborative, a native community group that started more than a decade ago. And it has grown since then to really encompass all public health aspects for the native community. Including the need for housing. We experience disproportionately high rates of houselessness and a lot of that is a, is a direct result of colonization. Last week, a church group voted to give the former Laurelhurst Presbyterian Church and all of its land in Northeast Portland back to its native community. Soon, they'll turn it into a village for homeless indigenous families with young children. There will be about 10 tiny homes. Yeah, this is our playroom. We call it Chavu Manaki Lush. And the village itself will be named after one of their own. This is Agwe Barbie and kind of her story. This is an urgent need. We already have, you know, people asking us, when is, <laughs> when is Barbie's village going to open up? Because I need a place right now. To speed things up, they asked Multnomah County for five million dollars. They ended up getting 300,000. But it's it's not enough because the building which will be used for a family gathering space and our early childhood programming, um, it needs a lot of repairs. Neighbors across the street are in favor of the village so far. I would love to be part of the solution to the problem instead of adding to the problem. I, I support it. You know, I don't know all the details of how it's how it'll play out, but uh, yeah, I've seen the, what the city's done in other neighborhoods, and thus far, it's been seems pretty successful. Like any neighbor is uh, a new neighbor, and it's a new unknown. Um, hopefully, there is a positive impact. So there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, including building the tiny homes, but their focus right now is on fundraising, and their next event is coming up in December in Northeast Portland. Blair Best, KGW News.